ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and welcome back once again to Beard Bites. In today's video we're going to be taking a moment to look at the Raspberry Pi Sense Hat. We'll be unboxing it in this video and in subsequent videos I will go through some of the different projects that you can do using your Raspberry Pi and using the Sense Hat. Let's get to it. When you look at the box you see the title Raspberry Pi Sense Hat. In the bottom left hand corner you can see that it says exclusively from element 14 and in the bottom right hand corner you can see where it says astro pi now if you're not familiar with what the astro pi competition was it was a competition in the uk where students of school age students would compete writing different cs projects and experiments and if they won and were chosen astronaut tim peak of the ESA was going to take them up to the space station and try them out. At the end, ultimately, Tim Peak took two different Raspberry Pis that were kind of custom built for him, and he took seven different projects with him. That's a really cool thing. I'm sure those kids were ecstatic when they found out that they won and that their experiments were actually going to be performed in space. So, once again, we've already gone over the front of the box. On the side, just very typical, very easy. You have a barcode, more Raspberry Pi sense hat, blank on one side. And on the back of the box, you can see that it goes through the different devices or different types of ICs and functions of the Raspberry Pi sense hat. You have the 8x8 LED matrix display, which can ultimately be used to display text or maybe uh, if you program a game or something like pong it is an accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer a barometric air pressure sensor temperature and humidity sensor and it has a small joystick which if i'm correct and you can correct me if i'm wrong it's a five button joystick it tells you the different models that the raspberry pi is compatible or that the sense hat is compatible with which has been all m versions of the pi except for the pi zero and it also tells you that you can go to element14.com backslash raspberry pi. Let's get into it. All right, opening up the box, you can see there's not much to it. We have a element 14 safety guide. And I'm going to take my chances, but if you feel like you need to read this, uh, please do. And we have an anti-static bag, and that looks like everything there. So, opening up the anti-static bag, we have the sense hat itself. Now, you immediately see the RGB 8x8 LED matrix. And also, right above here, which you won't be able to see in the video, but if you get this device, you can see that this is manufactured in PRC. So, it's made in the People's Republic of China. I have a... Raspberry Pi that I got from Element 14 that was actually manufactured in the People's Republic of China versus the UK. So far, and I've had extensive use with it, I've noticed zero differences between the two. Um, now, when you look over here at the different ICs all over on this side of the board, you can see that you have your accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer, barometric air pressure sensor, humidity, and right here is your joystick and it has left, right, up, down, and push. And that's about it. The device is small, simple, well laid out, and it feels really well constructed, and the board looks really, really clean. I recommend you getting one of these and uh, checking it out for yourself. You never know what you can do with it or what you'll come up with. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.